G'day and welcome to Wine Passion TV. Guys and girls, I'm Sam and today we're doing another midweek episode. Early week, midweek, Tuesday night. Big day today. Looking to relax. A nice Chardonnay. We're going to look at 2006 Maverick Chardonnay from the Eden Valley in South Australia. Now, this boy, big bottle, big imposing Chardonnay. Or is it? Now, I've already had a few glasses out of it over the last few days, so it's um, it's been open for about 24 hours, 24, 36 hours. And um, Eden Valley, interesting locations, a little bit cooler, and they make some really, really nice uh, whites. Um, they're probably more known for their Rieslings than what they are for their Chardonnays. But um, look, I've actually never heard of Maverick before, but it's been going around for quite a while. So I thought, let's sit down and have a look um, what we're tasting. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, it's got a bit of aged character. The, 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 the wine is, um, is obviously turning a little bit. It's more in that brown, not brown, golden, golden sort of colour, which is... Um, you know, it's, it's five years old, so it's bound to happen. There's nothing wrong with that. On the nose, it's got some really, really nice melon, some, some of that rock melon and sort of honeydew type character, a little bit of um, citrus coming through. The oak, the oak in this is perfectly balanced. It's not over the top. And it's not under. It's just it's right in the middle. And they've used some pretty good stuff. I'm, I reckon they've used some pretty smart, um, some French medium toast um, oak in it. So let's have a bit of a taste. I guess with the um, with the melon, the citrus component. There's also that sort of white peach flesh. And then, then on the back end, there's more of the roasted sort of nutty, um, you know, a little bit of um, butterscotch coming through. And that's obviously a derivative of the oak. But all in all, it's a very, it's a, it's a big one. It's more of your medium full body scenario as opposed to a sort of in-between acidic, um, you know, mid-range um, shardy. So it's really good with some top quality um, Asian dishes, white meats, things like that, but good, good quality food. But I mean, if you want to sit on your own and sip it like I normally do, it's great. It's a great little wine as well. Anyway, in the next few weeks, for the people who enjoy American wine, I'm going to have some stunners on Wine Passion TV. Probably from episode 92 to probably about 102. It's all going to be focused on American wine. So keep your eye open that. We're going to have some crackers from the Central Coast, California, um, Russian River. We're going to have it in Santa Barbara County. Um, I don't think we're going to have any nappers, but we're going to have some pretty smart wine. So watch out for that. Anyway, I hope all is well, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.